All right, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Cyanogen Mod 10 by Bob's Home on your LG Motion 4G. Uh, first things first, you got to make sure you're rooted. If you don't know how to root, check out my other tutorials. It'll have you rooted in no time. Uh, second thing you have to do is install uh, recovery. In order to do that, you have to install the first link in the description. I'll put a link to the to the custom recovery in there. You have to install that first, <clears throat> and then once you install it, and you open it up, it's going to look like this. The first time you open it up, you're going to want to hit that top button, the one that says uh, second in it recovery, and then after you hit that, it will say success. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I've already installed it. Actually, I can show you. You hit it. It's going to give it super user, it'll say success, that installs the recovery on your phone. And then to get into recovery, you want to hit that top, the bottom button that says reboot recovery. <clears throat> Before you do that, you want to make sure you download all of the stuff you're going to need. Um, and put it all onto your external SD card. You can do it from your internal, but I recommend putting it on the external SD card. It makes everything so much easier. <clears throat> and I'm going to go into a file manager here and show you that I have uh, you can see the G apps the CM10 G apps right there those will be in the description and then uh, version C modem will also be in the description you want to install those three things from the SD card with this process so let's begin first thing you want to do is open up that recovery again and you want to tap reboot recovery all right you'll see it flash like that that means you're loaded into recovery the LG icon will just sit there if you press the volume rockers a couple times it will open up the recovery uh, to navigate through this, volume up and down is to move up and down through the menus. The power button on top of the phone is to select a menu item. The back button goes back one menu. And the home button switches from internal storage to external. So go ahead and press the home button. There we go, and it switches it to the external storage. Now, first things you want to do, you want to go into Advanced, and you want to go down to the second one, Wipe Dalvik Cache, hit Power button to select it, go up to Yes, Wipe Dalvik Cache, and then it will say Dalvik Cache Wiped. Uh, then you want to go back one, and you want to go into Mounts and Storage, and you want to go down to where it says format data select that and go to yes format and then it will say formatting data done and then you want to go back again you want to go to install zip from SD card select that hit the top one choose zip from SD card and then you want to select uh, CM10 so you'll see it when you go in there CM10 Bob's Home 521 select that and then choose yes install CM10 and then it will install it doesn't take very long There we go, all set. And then we're gonna choose it again. Choose zip from SD card. This time you want G apps, JB 2012 10 11. Select that. 
and select yes install G apps there we go and select choose zip from SD card again oops sorry guys and you want to select version C modem and then hit yes install version C modem install from SD card complete and you want to hit back and once you get back to this menu hit reboot system now sometimes you have to select it twice and then it will reboot your phone you'll know pretty quickly whether you screwed something up because if you don't get the cyanogen mod boot animation like that then you've done something incorrectly <clears throat> but if you follow these steps it's pretty damn hard to screw this up pretty difficult I've found that the first time that you uh, load this, it takes a minute, it hangs on this animation for a couple seconds. I'm going to move over, I don't get very good coverage from Metro PCS in my house. <coughs> if I go out my front yard I get great coverage, <coughs> but for some reason inside my house I don't have very good coverage from Metro, so I'm going to go to the one area of my room where I know I'm going to get coverage because uh, it doesn't ask you to set up Wi-Fi until after. I love the boot animation. The boot animation is key. This is the most stable 4.1.2 uh, ROM, in my honest opinion. Uh, there's a couple things broken, but... Uh, there's a fix for the GPS. The GPS is the biggest one. There's a fix out for it now. It's You flash it just like you flashed everything else. It's simple. Uh, okay, so you want to hit start. Select your language first, obviously, and then select start. These steps are pretty universal with um, with every ROM for the motion, so if you find a different ROM that you want to use, just use that in place of the CM10 that I'm using in this tutorial, and everything else stays the same. I would recommend flashing, flashing the version C modem, uh, G-Apps, that G-Apps is the Jelly Bean G-Apps. If you're going to install an ice cream sandwich ROM, just make sure you install the right G-Apps. Uh, I'm going to skip this for now. I'm just going to do not now just so I can get to get to the actual fucking ROM here. And then you'll see that is Jelly Bean 4.1.2 on your LG Motion 4G. And I'll show you guys just to show you that the about phone actually lists the Android version right there model LG MS770 Android version 4.1.2 Metro PCS is absolutely never going to release an update to Jelly Bean for our phone so this is your bet at this point so that's it installing uh, Cyanogen Mod 10 based off of uh, Android Jelly Bean onto your LG Motion 4G in less than 10 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell your friends where you watch this video. Uh, check out AndroidForums.com for new releases and change logs and all that. 
I'm not going to link to the actual files in the description. I'm just going to link to the release thread. Uh, all the downloads are at the bottom of the first post in the release thread. So thanks for checking out the video. Uh, that's it for now. Sworn Leader, signing out.